today, let's have a look at what's inside this ultrasonic glasses cleaner. So I do say ultrasonic because this was actually advertised as an ultrasonic glasses cleaner, but I can't actually see ultrasonic anywhere on the case. So it just says multifunction cleaning box. So wireless charging, or sorry, wireless cleaning. Um, there's glasses somewhere, glasses case, right? So there's a bit more descriptions there. Maybe I missed it, but jewelry cleaner machine, five volts, five watts. Either way, I just turned this on just before because I charged it up. It just has a little USB-C cable that comes with it, but little USB-C charger, and I turned it on, right? So listen to this. I am 99% sure there is just a little vibrating motor inside that and not an actual transducer that produces that ultrasonic frequency, so above 20 kilohertz frequency. Now, I don't know, maybe this would be a good enough way to do it. I'm not sure what that vibrates at, it just has an on-off button there, and then, I don't know, this little drop button here, and the number on the display changes from 1 to 2, but I can't really hear any difference in that frequency or in the motor, most likely motor, so I'm not sure if that actually does do anything. Now, as far as cleaning, to be honest, this is probably still going to clean your glasses and clean jewellery and stuff that you put in this, because it will still vibrate. So that vibration will just shake any dirt or any loose bits that are stuck to the glasses or whatever you're cleaning. It will shake that off and this will clean. It's most likely just going to be nowhere near as good as a proper ultrasonic cleaner because ultrasonic cleaners, they work through cavitation. So they create a high pressure wave on the front and then behind, right behind that sound wave, there's a very area of low pressure and that, that low pressure just creates little bubbles. Those bubbles implode and then the, those implosions actually release a lot of energy and abrade up against whatever surface you're cleaning. So that's how the ultrasonic cleaners work. I'll get a proper one for this channel and we'll take a proper one apart. But for now, let's just dig into this and um, see what is actually inside this one. All right, so there we go. A motor with little weights on the front and the back and that just vibrates so granted the box does not say ultrasonic I cannot see it say ultrasonic it's just got multi-function cleaning box glasses brush jewelry shaver watch chain so I guess the box and the product here in the product information here isn't actually wrong it was just the listing that did specifically say ultrasonic but this was only a, a few dollars I can't remember so I was a bit skeptical but here we go well I may as well pull that little PCB in the motor out and just have a little bit of a closer look ah there we go so I was wondering I was just pulling this apart and I was like where is the battery for this so the battery is there tiny little I don't know, lithium ion cell, 3.7 volts, 200 milliamp. So that does just slide out, and then we've just got this little motor here. So just quickly undo this and pull that out. So there you go, that's that. That's all the electronics there is to it. So simple battery, not sure how long that's going to last for this motor. I think it does claim 20 minutes. I think I saw that somewhere. Uh, yeah, so press button once for 10 minutes, twice for 20 minutes. Ah, that's what that's going to be. So on the display here, when I had that one and the two, that's probably what's going to be 10 minutes and 20 minutes. Although this does point to the on off button. So I'm not sure if you press the on off button twice. Well, let's try actually. So that's the on off button there. No, so the on off button just actually turns it on and off and then pressing this other button here will turn it between or toggle it between one and two. So I think this arrow is just wrong. So you got to press that other button. But I'm not sure if this will last 20 minutes. I can do a test after this maybe and, and see. Either way, we've just got that simple little battery. Tiny PCB, there's almost nothing to it. There's just a, a little controller you want just there. Wonder if that's even just going to be an operational amplifier just to actually control that motor and control the charging for this battery because this is charged through a USB C. So it does have a couple little components there. So U2, that's going to be a little voltage regulator there actually, and then a capacitor and a couple of resistors around there. So that's pretty much it. And I think, yeah, this, this will actually be a little microcontroller just to power those or to 
program it for pressing those buttons and then powering those LEDs in a certain sequence to either show that one or a two. But that's it. Voltage regulator coming in to sort of act as a charge controller, very, very poor charge controller. And then another regulator there and a little diode for the motor. So if that's, that diode is just going to prevent any back EMF coming from the motor into the circuit, into the battery to damage any of that. So I'll do another close up there. There we go, that's focused quite nicely. So that's this side. The other side just has those LEDs on it and then the two buttons. So I don't think these LEDs on the left actually, oh no, they do light up, sorry, my bad. So yeah, so we've got those light up and then we've got that one. You press that again, turns it off. Or you press this other button here and then that'll switch between that one and two. So 10, 20 minutes is my best guess. And that's it. And then as far as the motor, we've got the shaft all the way through and protruding through on both sides. And then just this offset weight. So that's what causes the vibration. And then we've just got another one on this side here as well. So they are offset in, in the different directions. So that just vibrates from both ends at the same time. And then that's just mounted in this case, held together. And then that just vibrates the whole case. So it is mounted to, on these little suction cups. So it does stay in place pretty well, even just on this mat here, it will stay in there. And I guess this is rubber, so this will absorb a little bit of vibration, but this will probably get quite annoying if you leave it on a hard surface, because that hard surface will just propagate the sound waves through. There we go, so that's it. I'll, um, I'll give this a go, see how well this actually cleans. If you guys have used this, leave a comment down below. Let me know if this actually does work or not, and what you've managed to clean with, uh, I guess, a ripoff ultrasonic cleaner, or you know, multi-purpose cleaner, whatever this is called. And I'll get a proper ultrasonic cleaner at some point.